This video highlights key insights regarding Palantir's Q3 earnings forecast, the expectations set by analysts, and the significant deals announced by the company in recent months. Unbelievable, unwavering uh, demand as it relates to AI from government and, and enterprise, Scott. It's, it really was just a spectacular growth, a commercial business growing 50%, uh, the government business growing 40%. And guess what? There's still skepticism. We talked about this yesterday. The analyst community does not believe the move in Palantir. The average 12-month price target was $28. All they did today was bump it up to 33. That's 33% lower from where the price is today. There's still six sells, 10 holds, and only four buys on the stock. So I think the most important thing for long-term investors is this. Find another software company, an emerging software company, that is actually profitable, turned profitable in 2023. As Palantir Technologies approaches its third quarter earnings report, investors are keen to understand what Wall Street is anticipating. That has the type of exposure to the artificial intelligence revolution that Palantir has. Very few software companies have that. And I think what happens now is that 40 which was previously the ceiling, I think 40 becomes the floor for this stock. Now look, the stock is trading near $51 today, a lot mm -hmm. of activity in the options market, $50 calls, $60 calls. The stock could easily pull back, but I think on a pullback, this is really a foundational name, a core equity holding when you're thinking about AI and software companies with exposure to AI that you wanna have ownership with. In the last quarter, Palantir announced several pivotal contracts that could impact its revenue growth. Go ahead. No, I, I, I would love the opportunity. We, this is one of those few names that, that we definitely missed. And, um, you know, I, I think when you talk about what they're able to accomplish, what, you know, you talk about Drunken Miller and Buffett, talk about fat pitches. This was a name that, that really had a lot of momentum and has continued to rally. They put up the numbers. And, and if anybody's still short this name, I mean, God bless them. They're not, there's no way that people are short. So for us, you know, we didn't take the chance on it. You can't own all of it, but I think all of the names that are, that are really driving. Josh Brown breaks down the bullish options trade on NVIDIA, highlighting the steep price increase needed to break even. This underscores the high expectations investors have for the stock's future performance, emphasizing significant confidence. I think at 35 to 38 dollars, if we come back down there, this is a name I want to be buying down there and have within our portfolio. But we do take a lot of risk in, in, in tech. We have the Nvidia's, we have the Broadcoms. So it's it's more about hunkering down. You don't want you don't want to swing at the fat pitch if you're already up five to three, and and you just you need to kind of get through things. So I share stock markets latest news, datas, and important information on my Telegram channel. If you want to stay updated with these things before everyone else, open the description of this video, click on my Telegram channel's link. And Donald Trump's election victory has also added momentum, with bulls pointing to management connections to Trump and the potential for an AI push by the new administration to boost sales. The stock was slightly lower in early trading Thursday. The latest rally has propelled Palantir's already pre valuation even higher. The shares trade at around 135 times forward earnings, a huge premium to the average ratio of companies in the NASDAQ 100 index at about 27 times. LTR's impressive 2024 run. In general, Palantir has had an impressive 2024, with its stock rallying due to its role in artificial intelligence, AI. The company reported strong Q3-2-2-4 earnings, with revenue of $725.52 million, a nearly 30% year-over-year increase. However, not all analysts are optimistic. Valuation concerns have emerged, with Palantir trading at a forward earnings multiple exceeding 130 times. For instance, Jeffrey's analyst Brent Thill recently downgraded the stock from hold to underperform, setting a price target of $28, citing skepticism about the sustainability of its current rally. In summary, while Palantir's strong performance and strategic moves, such as its NASDAQ listing and AI advancements, have bolstered investor confidence, concerns over its valuation and sustainability remain. Therefore, its ability to balance growth with market expectations will be key to maintaining momentum. As most equities experience a significant sell-off during the November 15th session, Palantir's NYSE PLTR share price is standing out, outperforming the general market. 
By press time, PLTR was trading at $63.87, surging almost 8% in the past 24 hours. The stock has rallied about 8% on the weekly chart. Palantir remains among the biggest winners of 2024, up 282% year-to-date. The company's plan to move its listing from the New York Stock Exchange to the tech-heavy Nasdaq largely drives the positive outlook. Investors anticipate this switch will benefit Palantir, primarily as it seeks inclusion in the Nasdaq 100. Two of Palantir's earliest bulls on Wall Street, uh, Dan Ives of Wedbush Securities and Mariana Perez Mora of Bank of America, have placed price targets of $57 and $55 on Palantir, respectively. AI has become a catalyst of epic proportions for Palantir, and as of the time of this writing, shares are trading at all-time highs of roughly $56. While I share stock market's latest news, datas and important information on my Telegram channel, if you want to stay updated with these things before everyone else, open the description of this video, click on my Telegram channel's link, and Palantir's current share price doesn't leave a ton of room for percentage growth relative to targets put forth by Ives and Perez Mora, it's more important for investors to understand the reasons behind these analyst upgrades and extrapolate what these themes could suggest for Palantir's future. Palantir CEO Alex Karp began his third quarter shareholder letter with a brief statement declaring, this is still only the beginning. That's a pretty bold call when your company just posted 30% revenue growth year over year, closed over 100 deals worth at least $1 million, and is minting a multi-million dollar business, and it may take a very bold heritage to compete, yet it seems so many startups struggle to do that. I'm pretty sure business models are starting to slow down. But apparently, Carp, Ives and Piers Mora are calling for even more growth. Let's dig into what's driving these optimistic outlooks and explore how Palantir's AI journey is unfolding. One of the ways Palantir has been able to separate itself from the competition since launching AI is through a unique lead generation strategy. Namely, Palantir hosts immersive seminars called boot camps, during which prospective customers can demo the company's software suites. This hands-on approach helps leads actually identify a use case around AI and understand how Palantir's software can help ease their pain points. The share price of software giant Palantir versus Parva VSAT continued its upward momentum, reaching a new all-time high of $45 per share and breaking a market cap of $100 billion for the first time during the last trading session. On Wednesday's Mad Money episode, Jim Cramer took a deep dive into 10 stocks, each worth over $1 billion, that have seen significant growth this year. While acknowledging that many of these stocks are speculative, he emphasized that they still hold potential as smart investments. Kramer suggested that, when looking back on this year, two trends will stand out. A steady rise in the S&P 500 and a series of moves that initially seemed almost magical, but were grounded in reality. Kramer also reflected on the common investment approach of sticking with index funds, noting that it is a popular strategy because it requires minimal effort. But, according to him, simply parking your money in an index fund might not be the best way to maximize returns. Instead, he argued that investors should consider individual stocks with unique characteristics, many of which are speculative, since they offer opportunities for much larger gains. Key factors driving Palantir's future growth. Palantir's strong momentum is underpinned by its impressive Q3 earnings, which reported a 30% year-over-year revenue increase and raised full-year guidance. This growth has been fueled by robust demand for the company's AI products and extensive government contracts. At the heart of Palantir's success is its AI platform, AIP, which enables advanced data processing and real-time insights across industries such as defense, healthcare, logistics, and finance. The government sector remains a cornerstone of its revenue, with US government revenues growing 40% year over year in Q3, 234, driven by high profile initiatives like the Department of Defense's Open Data Guy office. On the commercial side, US revenues surged by 54% in the same period, reflecting the growing adoption of AIP by corporate clients. Palantir also projected strong financials, reporting a 183% year over year increase in operating income and a 900 basis point improvement in adjusted operating margin, benefiting from cost management and high margin government contracts. Financially, the company is in a solid position, 
holding $4.06 billion in cash with no debt as of Q3-2024. This provides it with the flexibility to invest in growth opportunities, pursue acquisitions, and innovate further. Moreover, Palantir's inclusion in the S&P 500 in September, along with its potential addition to the NASDAQ 100, has further elevated its market visibility and attracted institutional investment. The growth trends depicted above showcase how Palantir's boot camps have helped the company increase its customer roster while simultaneously diversifying its revenue base, which is underscored by a swift penetration of the private sector. However, as Carp and Wall Street suggest, there are many reasons to believe that this growth is still in its early stages. Discover new projects in Mumbai that fit your budget. For starters, Palantir has been quietly signing more deals related to the US military's AI efforts. Although government contracting is a fairly lumpy business, Palantir is demonstrating that the defence sector is an important and evolving pocket of the AI landscape, an opportunity I'd encourage investors not to sleep on. Moreover, the company has struck a number of strategic alliances this year with Microsoft, Oracle, Meta Platforms and Amazon that have yet to bear fruit. Is Palantir's stock a buy right now? The chart below benchmarks Palantir against a cohort of leading software as a service, SaaS, companies on a price to sales SA basis. The obvious takeaway from the analysis below is that Palantir is the most expensive stock among this peer set, but on a more subtle note, Palantir's price action has witnessed meaningful valuation expansion over the last few months in particular. Given the momentum fueling Palantir's stock right now, I'm not surprised to see shares reach the price targets put forth by Ives and Perez Mora. I think investors should be less concerned about specific prices at this stage and more focused on the long-term narrative surrounding Palantir. Defence tech is still largely an untapped market, and many of Palantir's partnerships with big tech aren't operating at scale yet. I think as time goes on, customer adoption of AIP will continue to accelerate across the company's commercial and public sector operations as more use cases are discovered through AIP. Furthermore, the relationships with many of AI's most influential players have made me optimistic about Palantir's role in the future of AI. While I think the stock is pricey right now, I see further gains ahead and am aligned with the outlook that Palantir's journey is still beginning. Palantir Technologies Inc. is confounding skeptics with the stock continuing to push higher, even as some on Wall Street question its sky-high valuation and the sustainability of the company's revenue growth. Shares in the artificial intelligence software maker are up more than 250% this year, with a chunk of the gains coming since last week's estimate beating earnings. It's also the most expensive stock in the S&P 500 index on an enterprise value to revenue basis. For some, the gains have gone too far, with two analysts downgrading the stock in the past week. The fundamentals are alive, but Palantir would have to accelerate sales growth to 40% for four straight years and trade at 12 times its estimated 2028 revenue just to hold its stock price, Jeffrey's analyst Brent Thill wrote, saying that this seems unlikely. Consensus estimates are for 26% growth this year and 24% the following year, according to data compiled by Bloomberg. Phil cut the stock to underperform, citing its unsustainable valuation. Argus research analyst Joseph Bonner echoed the sentiment, Palantir shares, which have about tripled in value this year, may be getting ahead of what the company fundamentals can support, Bonner wrote, cutting the stock to hold. Wall Street's ambivalence about the stock is reflected in analyst data tracked by Bloomberg, of 20 firms covering the company, half have hold or equivalent ratings, while three rate Palantir a buy and seven recommend